A young and inspiring canine police officer killed in the line of duty. A community heartbroken by the loss of the promising young man. Thousands of police officers from all over the country turned out for a final salute to Officer Sean Gannon. They've lined the streets of Yarmouth and are standing outside the church to pay their respects. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Anaritis Rodriguez in for Kate Merrill. Today, the Yarmouth Police Department promoted Gannon to sergeant, a show of appreciation for the 32-year-old who is leaving behind a legacy. WBC's Anna Myler is live in Yarmouth this noon with more on how Sergeant Gannon is being remembered. Anna? Anna Ritis, Chris, it's a very emotional morning here in Yarmouth as thousands of police officers, canine units, friends and family say goodbye to Sergeant Sean Gannon. This morning, hundreds upon hundreds of officers from all over marched in a line to St. Pius the 10th Church here in Yarmouth, where Sergeant Gannon's funeral began at 11 a.m. Sergeant Gannon was killed in the line of duty last week while serving an arrest warrant in Marston's Mills. His canine Nero was also shot and seriously injured, but is recovering. Gannon was just 32 years old. He was a beloved husband, son, and brother, and he was known as the kind of police officer who helped people both on and off the job. He volunteered at shelters and with big brothers, big sisters. Community members also came out today to pay their respects. What we could do is to show our support and uh, be here today. And he's so kind and friendly. Yeah, yeah, he went out of his way. He loved what he, at least he loved what he did. I mean, it's terrible what happened, but, but he, he loved what he did. And after the funeral service, there will be another procession to the burial, which will be private. Reporting live from Yarmouth, Anna Myler, WBZ News. Anna, thank you very much. A very emotional scene outside of St. Pius X Church here as you take a look over the funeral, live from Sky Eye here, over the funeral for Sergeant Sean Gannon. We'll have much more on the tributes to Sergeant Gannon on the WBZ News starting this afternoon at 5 o'clock.